is there a world in which a man says, you know what, actually she makes more money than I do and I take care of home and that is what works for our relationship. This is a reality. I want to read a comment from one of my subscribers. Shout out to our brother, William, for this thought provoking piece. And I'm making this video based on what you said. So thank you for your comment. He says, modern women either don't know what they want, always want what they can't have, or are never happy with what they got. Let me say that again. They either don't know what they want, always want what they can't have, or they're never happy with what they got. Sound familiar? What's going on everybody and welcome back to another video. Don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, tickle that notification bell. That will let you know every time I upload content, you know what we're gonna do. Yep. Roll that clip. As we seek to dissect toxic masculinity, as we see the rise of women in corporate spaces and entrepreneurship, we see a transition of power that's taking place. Yes. And in the midst of that transition of power, I think that men can often wonder, where do I fit in this transition? Stop it. Get some help. If I'm no longer the alpha male, if it's no longer the man's world, but it is our world, where do I fit? I think the onus is on the man to consider how have messages about power, messages about relationships framed a paradigm that makes him feel that the only way he can be powerful is if he is making a certain amount of money or if he is progressing further than a woman is. Is there a world in which a man says, you know what, actually she makes more money than I do and I take care of home and that is what works for our relationship. This is a reality. How about new? So the question was asked, is there a world where a man says, you know what, baby, you make more money than me. I'm going to take care of a woman's role while you take care of a man's role. Now there are women out there and there are men out there that do that. The woman is called a hyena. And the man is called a sin. And those relationships typically don't last long. Yep. Because there is an imbalance. You see, a man needs to feel needed. And a woman needs to feel safe and validated. So what this woman is, suggest is suggesting is that we do a role reversal. We say... Okay, there is a new time, a new era, a new beginning. Women are in the workforce. Women are making more money. Women are this black girl power. <laughs> you know what we do over here? We deal with facts, data, and statistics. Pull up a chair, ladies. We're about to get into the truth. Now, I want you to listen with an open mind and consider that this has merit. You can also go to the link that I posted in the video description that will go over all of these statistics that I have posted in this video. Now, the median household family income. Now, I want you to look at this very carefully and i'm gonna blow it up so you can see it. i want you to be able to see this very clearly 
Now, the household family meeting income, we're going to do the single mother family, which is the third one right here. $44,571. Oh! The single father black family is $55,136. A married couple family makes $94,969. I want you to realize that the modern woman that's a single mother is at the very bottom of the totem pole. It's all there, black and white, clear as crystal. You get nothing. So if you're at the bottom, why would it be smart for you to become a single mother in the first place when you're already going to be at the bottom of the totem pole when it comes to income? You are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. That explains why your own Section 8 and food stamps and WIC because you really don't make enough money to survive alone, let alone with two, three kids. Individual income. Let's look at your individual income. A man working full-time, a black man, makes $50,000 in one cent. A black woman working full time makes forty four thousand one hundred and thirty one dollars. Oh, so where are these men at that you think are going to be in the kitchen while you make all the money? You don't find that suspicious. You don't find that suspicious. You don't find that suspicious. Where are they at? Do you really think a man is going to be in the kitchen cleaning and cooking and taking care of the house while you go out and make all the money? No. As a woman, especially as a black woman, you're on the bottom end of earning. You really are. So how can a woman who's on the bottom end of earning and on the bottom end of earning potential, make enough money to support a household. All right, black household income. The median household income of a black household is $51,374. The median black family income is $64,123. Let me blow that up even more so you can see it. So the median family black income. Now, I want you to look at single woman head family income at the bottom. 41000 $571. So y'all aren't even making enough money to live and you're not even making enough money alone as a household. Again, where is this whole notion that the woman is going to be Clean and taking care of the house. So let's look at black men, median income, $50,000 and one cent. Again, black woman, median income of full time workers, you make $44,131. This is why you need to look at the facts, ladies. I understand that you want to be a man so bad. I completely understand why you feel like being masculine is great. But it's not working. 
you're not even making more money than a black family household. As a woman by yourself, you do not make enough money to live on your own. And as the cost of living goes up, as rent goes up, as home prices go up, as things go up, you as a black woman are not going to make enough money by yourself. And even with a family, you don't even make enough money as a woman to support a family. Because it's not to disparage you, black woman. It's to allow you to know that you've got to get rid of these delusional thoughts and delusions of grandeur about your relationship with black men. You have to understand that you need black men. So if you need black men, it would behoove you to treat the man that you need with respect, honor, and admiration. By weekly wages, we're going into the wages now. And I want you to pay very close attention to what we're about to look at. And I want to make sure you can see it. So, black women, we're going to talk about the women. Black women make, even with an advanced degree, you still don't make more money. Yep. Less than a high school diploma, $532. Damn. High school graduate, $653. Some <laughs> college, no degree, $707. Associate's degree, $736. Bachelor's degree, $995. Advanced degree, $1,248. <laughs> Women. Let's look at black men. Less than a high school diploma, 597. High school, no college, 754. Some college, no degree, 814. Associate's degree, 899. Bachelor's degree, 1167. An advanced degree, $1,561. Dollars. Notice the difference between even with a bachelor's degree, a man is making more money than a black woman. And even with an advanced degree, yeah. you're still making more money than a woman. So again, I ask, how is the man being removed from his place of power? When in reality, black women aren't even making enough money to survive on their own, which is why they need a man to help them in the first place. But wait, there's more. And here we go. This is what we all came for. 100K or more. Black women, 721,123. Black men, 926,516. So not only are black men out making, not only are black men making 100K or more, we are making 100K or more, more than black women. Yep. And it isn't until you go down in income. Black women start to make more money when it comes to down on income. 30K to 39,000. More black women make that than black men. 20K to 30K. More black women make that. $1 to 20K. More black women make that more than black men. You know why? Because black men, we are up 
here at the top it comes to earning potential. Men in general are at the top when it comes to earning potential. So all this crazy idea about women are taking over, there's a generational shift, women are making more money, they're making more income, they're going to school, they're getting advanced degrees, they're outperforming men. According to these statistics and more, the lie detector tells determined that was a lie. Black women, stop lying to yourselves and stop allowing other black women to lie on your behalf. You're not making more money than men and you're definitely not making more money than black men. So this is what I want you to do. And once you do that, then stop your delusions of grandeur and come back to reality. Anyway, y'all, that's been it for today's video. Don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, tick on that notification bell that will let you know every time I upload content, you're going to see me at the end screen that's coming up right after this. And until the next video, Peace.